become a landfill filled with people who think they have a right to stay there. We're going to show them that the only right they have is to face us at the ballot box. Are you with me? And we're lucky here in South Florida because all across the nation there are people rising up and they haven't got a candidate to support. They haven't got the kind of men that we have running in this county and in these tri-county area. And today you're gonna have an opportunity to meet some of them. If you've never talked to Alan West, Colonel Alan West, make sure you talk to him today. If you've never talked to Ed Lynch, make sure you talk to him today. Robert Lowry, these are the men who are willing to give up their lives for their country, sometimes on the battlefield and sometimes on the streets. So you've got to be willing to support them. There are going to be tables and supporters outside looking for volunteers for petition drives. There's going to be all kinds of uh, opportunities for you to stop just whining, stop just talking, and get activated. This is the kind of moment that everybody waits for in history, when the real men and the real women stand up and say, this is my country. On 9-12, a bunch of us went up to Washington yeah. to hear them tell it there was something like 50 or 60,000 people. Well, I stood at the reflection pool with 100,000 of them, and I know that there was another three or 400,000 of them because I had to drive on the metro, and there was no way you could get on that subway that day. So no matter what they said, Patriots showed up in Washington on the 12th of September, and they didn't leave behind one piece of garbage. Not like that crowd that showed up for the inauguration, and it took the D.C. Sanitation Department seven days to clean that mess up. We took our signs, we took our garbage, people went for hours without a drink of water, without going to the bathroom, and they never complained because their country means that much to them. That's a great sign. It says, for sale, Congress. Well, guess what? Congress is not going to be for sale on, no on January 2nd, 2011. We're going to make sure that there are some people in there who answer our calls and not the lobbyist calls. But in order and you've got to become visible. You know, I, I hammer this home every day on my radio program that it's one thing to sit around and talk about it. It's another thing to get up and take action. We've got to take back our schools. We've got to take back our streets. We've got to take back Congress. And we've got to take back the United States of America. when it comes to the election. We've got a, a, a Republican primary coming up for a Senate seat that has become the number one talk show item. Yeah. Rubio versus Chris. Someone who wants to help this country versus someone who doesn't care. And I'm not gonna, I mean, I have my own opinion about that race, but I have to tell you, it's time to get rid of the guys who do business as usual. If you don't think it's important enough to stay in your position as governor for the entire time and devote yourself to governing the state of Florida, why would I give you a promotion and send you to Washington? Go home! And that's what we've got. We've got a series of entitlement politicians out there, which is why Rob Palin's book is number At least when she stood down from office, she said, I'm on a mission. I want to know what Charlie Crist's mission is. Uh, actually, I know what his mission is. But that's a whole other show, isn't it? So today we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate the fact that the state of Florida is going to be the most watched state in the country when this election comes up. We've got the hottest Senate race. We've got two of the hottest congressional races in the entire country. So people are going to be looking at us. 
I'm sick and tired of them looking at us and saying we don't know how to vote. We leave our chads hanging. This time we're going to vote unanimously for the right candidates and there won't be questions in the minds of the rest of America what, where Florida stands. We're going to recapture our dignity. It's got to happen. So if you're sick and tired of business as usual, then you've got to do what you're doing today. You've got to meet with other patriots. You've got to become activated. You've got to call the school board when there's a problem. You've got to call the city commission. What a shame, another one of the big news stories this, this uh, month all over the country is we've got commissioners being arrested and taken off in uh, leg irons. We have school board members who for $20,000 would sell out your kids. Now, nobody's guilty until proven so, but guess what? The feds don't come for you with shackles if they haven't got some case. So I'm tired of it, and it just uh, just goes to show you how we've stopped watching even our local politicians. You've got to get reawakened. You've got to hold each and every one of them and, and make sure that they know you're here, that you're here today, and that you want to see changes in your community. Whether you live in Broward, Palm Beach, or Dade County, because I've seen people here from all three counties, we have to unite as South Florida and stand up and say, enough is enough. I want to give a, a quick opportunity for maybe uh, some of the candidates to come forward and give you a little bit of an idea of what you can hear from them later on. This is not a candidate's rally, but you ought to pay notice. Who showed up today? Who stands with the people? And where are your elected representatives? Because they're not here. They don't care what you think, and they think you're just some sort of an unruly, angry mob. Well, guess what? I may be part of the mob, but I vote. I'm also a bitter, gun-carrying American citizen. movement in Washington, apparently I'm also a racist, just because I don't agree with this president. Well, in keeping with the theme of my overly zealous racist self, today I'll introduce you to two of the finest men who I've ever had the opportunity to stand on a stage with. The fact that they may not be white, oh my God, what did I do? Lloyd Marcus is here, he's going to be singing for you live, and of course Lieutenant Colonel Alan West is right. Tour, but to let you know, that's what they're going to tell you and those are the things they're going to say to you to make you shut up. And you're not buying it. I'm not a racist because I don't believe that illegal immigration is good for this country. I'm Hispanic. I know illegal immigration is no good for this country. I can't get into an emergency room in Broward County anymore. I've got doctors who are leaving this state because they don't want to be sued by some guy who falls off a roof who's not even supposed to be in my country and sues the hospital for two million It makes me an American. You need to be able to answer that charge. You need to be able to, you know, one of the most compelling things I ever saw written, and maybe I'll let uh, uh, Lloyd tell you the story himself. He wrote a brilliant piece on the internet a couple of weeks back about his experience at 9-12 in Washington, D.C., where, of course, we were branded as racist. That piece of garbage, Janine Garofalo, keeps saying that this movement is about that. Well, I got news for you. That's not the experience that he had in Washington. And it's time for you to see, I love any American who loves this country. And I despise any American who's trying to bring it down. All right, let's, uh, let's hear from a couple of the candidates. Running against, let me see, oh, running against, oh, this is my district. This is as good as it gets. My congressman lives in Maryland. His name is Robert Wexler. My congressman, my congressman came into my community and coerced all of these older Jewish people to vote for Barack Obama and told them he'd be good for Israel. Well, now that Israel's under the bus, I don't know what Congressman Wexler's, oh, I do know what he's gonna do. He's gonna be speaking for some anti-Israeli groups this upcoming week on J Street. He's got to go home. Here's and home is Maryland, 
so we won't even have to run into him at Publix.